Thanks, Matt. He is open for many national touring acts, including action item Ryan Cabrera and platinum-selling recording artist JoJo. This morning, Blaze Delfino of Bethlehem is here to show us how he's managed to generate quite a buzz in a short amount of time. He joins me now for today's Music Monday segment. Blaze, good morning. It's great to be here, Hasso. It's good to have you here. Now, I understand that you discovered your musical talents at the tender age of five. Can you explain how this happened? I started playing drums at age five with uh, the influence of my father, my grandfather, my cousins. I was pretty much predisposed genetically. Uh, family from Italy came over to America playing violins on the ship, so mm -hmm. it runs in my blood. <laughs> okay, it runs on the blood, and it expanded from drums to now you play three other instruments. Right. Uh, I started playing saxophone in fourth grade. Following that, I taught myself piano, guitar, and uh, started uh, to write my own songs. So. Mm -hmm. What artists inspired you as you um, started to write your songs? There's so many. Dashboard Confessional, John Mayer, James Taylor. His album, In the Pocket, really inspired me as well. So. Okay. And can you tell us, um, in addition to those artists, what inspires you to write your own music? I mean, what topics do you have for your songs? The biggest one is love. Love, death, hatred. Um, th there's a lot that inspires me, a lot of non-musical influences. Uh, even being at school, uh, my debut album is titled The Way For Me. Mm -hmm. It's about um, you know, moving out of your own comfort zone, going to school, and, and really finding yourself and living away from the person that you once really thought you were. Now, you're 20. Are you in college now? Yes, yes. Okay. I'll be attending East Strasburg University uh, in the spring studying speech and language pathology. Okay, so a little different from music. How will you marry the two, the speech language pathology and the music? The two are very synonymous. Okay. Um, speech pathology, helping kids with uh, speech impediments. Mm -hmm. I really love working with kids, and I can incorporate music as well. Okay. How would you describe your style? Alternative pop rock, write very catchy lyrics. It attracts many tween and teens, young adults, and uh, this, uh, this new album is going to attract a wider audience, a very broader audience. Would you agree, Stephen? Yeah, yeah let's that, introduce that Steve. That I would. Steve Rao is a part of Blaze's band. Correct. Um, what would, would you agree? I would definitely agree. It's, um, it's definitely a little harder than what Blaze's older material was. Um, there's a few older songs on it that we sort of redid. And uh, it's turning out really, really good. Really happy with it. Yeah, you're in the studio now working on that album, right? That's Absolutely. correct. Only a few more, uh, few more sessions left, and then it's releasing the single, doing music video, and then summer, release the album. That's great. Now, you've been pretty successful so far, it seems. You performed with platinum-selling recording artists JoJo, Ryan Cabrera, and Pat D'Annunzio from uh, the Smithereens, to name just a few. What do you think really launched your career, and can it be attributed to one thing? There's so many things that I could say that launched my career. The number one thing is definitely the promoters at the venues that we perform at. Um, you know, they really, they really push my name out there and, uh, you know, drawing a lot of the fans to these different venues. So I would have to say that I attribute my success to a lot of the promoters, especially Tom Taylor at the Crocodile Rock Cafe. Do you, do you have a highlight of your career so far? My biggest highlight of my career is when I played at the Webster Hall in New York City. Um, after my performance, a senior a &R director of a major record label approached me. Mm -hmm. um, he took me aside and he really, he really praised me for, for my stage presence and my performance. And he told me to just keep at it, keep doing you, and uh, the sky's the limit. Speaking of doing you, some have compared you to your style to that of Disney artists. Um, how do you take that? Because they, <laughs> they're saying you have kind of a clean image, um, a strong guitar lyrics. Um, how, do you, how do you accept that? Is that an honor? I take that as a compliment. Yeah. I mean, Disney's been around for many, many years. I love Disney personally. So to be, you know, to be um, compared to a Disney artist, I love it. Steve, tell me how you and Blaze got together, co connected. Okay. Um, actually, I had a recording studio um, in Allentown called Nation Records. And um, actually met Blaze at one of the clubs he was uh, performing at. And uh, he needed to cut a record, so he came in. And, uh, you know, we met. I liked his songs. And then I'm like, you know, I think you need some drums and, and bass on this <laughs> stuff. And he's like, all right. So we went from there. And ever since we did the record in three days, yeah. and ever since then, <laughs> three I mean, days we've we cut been, it. it's just been like working nonstop. Now, Stephen, do you help with uh, the writing of the songs, or is that all Blaze? Blaze comes up with 
Blaze writes the songs and the lyrics, and then I come in and put my little touch on it, like a second opinion. Okay. Um, I like to call it my my crusty jazz. Mm -hmm. We like to call it. it we like to call him MacGyver. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He does it all. He's a Renaissance man. Very nice. All right, well, we're going to hear from you. Uh, we're going to take a break, and then we'll come back and hear you perform one of your songs. So stay with us. We'll be right back with Blaze, Delfino, and Stephen Rao, and Music Monday and some other news right after this. Blaze Delfino's unique original style of alternative pop and rock music continues to acquire many faithful fans. We're pleased to welcome the Bethlehem-based singer-songwriter to our studio on this Music Monday, along with guitarist Stephen Rao. Good morning once again, guys. Good Thanks morning. so much for joining us. Now, I have in my hands your first um, album, Blaze Delfino Take Two, which is available on iTunes, iTunes and, and Amazon.com. Yeah. Now, you're currently, as we mentioned earlier, working on your first full-length album. It's called Away From Me. That must be exciting. Oh, it's, I'm very excited to release this album. Uh, Steven and I have been in the studio for the past couple of months, um, just really hitting the studio hard. We're recording up at Sound Mine uh, Recording Studios in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And this album, it really hits home to me. Uh, I, went, I went to school, went away to college last year, and away from me. It's really going out of your comfort zone and finding out who you really are. So every song on there is just about, you know, finding out who you are. There's a lot of party songs on there, so. <laughs> it's going to be great. Okay. And where else can people find out about your music and your performance schedule? Facebook is huge. Uh, Facebook.com uh, backslash Blaze Delfino Music. Twitter is at Blaze Delfino. And uh, it's usually the social network sites that I usually use. Mm -hmm. so. Now, talk a little bit about the song you're going to perform today. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> tie dye. Uh, we're going to play tie dye today. Um, it was on our first EP, mm -hmm. um, and it's actually going to make a, an appearance again on Away from Me because mm -hmm. we've uh, made some changes to it and uh, beefed it up a little bit. And Steve is actually um, producing this album as well. So. Yes. Okay. So um, it's it's going to be good. I mean, um, it's going to be a really good good album. The song is good, and this the way we're going to play it is sort of a take from how it used to be to how it's going to be. A couple changes in it, so for mm -hmm. our fans, it's something a little different. All right, that's right. and that's oh. another thing. I really yeah. want to thank all our, our all our fans tuning in in this morning. We got a lot of tweets this morning. Please, I'm going to be tuning in, but I really want to thank you all. It really means the world to me. Absolutely. And I say, I want to thank you for having us on here. Oh, you're welcome, and hello to all your fans out there. Good morning. Yes. All right, <laughs> we'll we'll listen to you do tie dye right all now. Right, here we Thanks, go, guys. Thanks. Like a bird 
that doesn't have any wings. I'll spread my arms and fly. Where is the ring on my finger? These need all my heart. It has been like this. I'm sun from the start. Side dance can noose around my neck. She won't let go. She won't let go. I've got to Divas will never tie me down. Divas will never tie me 